what's up Sailor Guardians? I'm Sailor Snubs and I have a huge haul from Hot Topic to share with you today. Hot Topic surprised us with a brand new fashion haul with her universe for 2023 fall slash winter Q4. And since most of these items are still in stock and we can currently use our hot cash at time of recording, I wanted to get this video out for you ASAP so you can get an idea of the quality of these products as well as the sizing. As we all know, Hot Topic sometimes varies in terms of their sizing so it's really important to check the details for each listing and also if you do have the option I would recommend going into store to try these on yourself. I didn't get that opportunity I had to order everything online because I've been so busy this month but with that said I did order every single piece for you so I could share these with you today. Let's go ahead and get started with this very first item which is a Luna and Artemis ruffle hoodie. Now all the actual names will be listed in this video as well as the pricing, the MSRP pricing without discounts so you know exactly how much these cost. Every single piece I ordered here was in a medium. However, all of these items are listed with either girls in the listing or under details they are listed as junior sizing. But you will notice that some of these sizings kind of differ. So here's my medium hoodie with Luna and Artemis on the front of it. I'll show you via the top down camera I really like this cute print on the front. We have a very large print of Artemis on one side and for the opposite colorway we have Luna on the opposite side. The color is white with a colder tint, like a colder background color to it. And then we have this navy color for the other side. I will say the sleeves are definitely long enough and you do have these ruffles at each sleeve as well, which match the colorway for each side. The crescent moon is embroidered. I really appreciate that quality. And the ears, when you put this on, the ears do have some felt on the inside of them so they won't flop over. So they are nice and thick, they're very sturdy, like they won't get wrinkled. I feel like they did a good job on these. The back of this says Sailor Moon with the English logo and it looks super cute. Oh, and it has pockets. We love pockets. As you can see with my fit test, this hoodie is a little bit big on me. I probably could have sized down to a size small and it would have fit me a little bit better. But if you're going for something baggy, I would say buy this in your normal size. I'm normally a medium in women's, so I went with medium for the juniors sizing and this fit a little bit oversized. So I don't know why it's listed as juniors, but it is. Next, also in a medium is this lavender, it's kind of like a sports jersey print. It's so cute. I love this button up. Now, instead of zipping like the previous hoodie, this one does button up instead. So you have buttons all the way down the front. This one fits a little snug on me, even though it's also a medium so I probably would have sized up to a large to make this a little bit more comfortable to wear if I'm putting on a sweater underneath it so I might return this and get a large instead. I love that we have this Sailor Guardians neckline and it is all in lavender and then we have this beautiful embroider print that says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon with the embroidered crescent moon on it. It's sewn really nicely. There are a few little loose threads at the edges but that's kind of to be expected when it comes to Hot Topic purchases. The inside of this jersey is incredibly soft. I really like how warm it is. I feel like it's gonna be really great to wear around in the winter time. There are a couple of pockets on the front and both sleeves also have some embroidery. This is really beautiful embroidery. I love the lavender color again. I love that crescent moon up at the top and then you have each of the inner Sailor Guardian sigils or signs. They're planetary signs. Now on the other sleeve, we have a really cool detail of Sailor Moon's wand, her rod, as well as some pretty little detailing around the wand. So that was the jersey. Moving on. This has got to be one of my favorite pieces. I love this cardigan, also purchased in a medium. Now I kind of wish that this fuzzy kind of furry material went through the whole thing to keep it super super warm but it is slightly lined along the edges so you'll see this fuzzy material along the front opening as well as surrounding completely the hood. This is thinner than what I was expecting but I really really like the print. So this print involves Luna around the bottom. We have this beautiful pattern of the Sailor Guardian planetary signs again. Again, 
We also have some crescent moons and some stars. And then we have Artemis lining up here. So this definitely gives me like cute kawaii fair isle sweater like winter vibes and i think it's super adorable if you want to continue having those like adorable pink vibes into the winter time it is very very warm even though it's pretty thin so i wouldn't wear this when it's blizzarding here in colorado but i can definitely wear it indoors or when i'm going and running errands etc etc this is very comfortable and it's going to be one of my favorite pieces i can tell you that right now oh and it fits great i'm uh, moving on to this very cute Cute cosplay top. Now I, I was a little jealous because there were some kids outfits that came out this year for, for little kids, like some cute, very cute Sailor Moon dresses for little ones. And I was a little jealous. I, I wish those things existed for us, but all we get are like the sexy Halloween costumes. So when I saw this cosplay shirt, this top, I was like, I have to get that, but I'm unsure how it's gonna fit because usually I don't look good in floppier outfits, like looser outfits because, well, if it hangs down on the front, it doesn't really accentuate the curves. So I generally don't buy things that are looser fitting. But when it comes to a schoolgirl outfit, it's kind of supposed to be looser fitting when it comes to these like Japanese school outfits. So in this case, it kind of works. Uh, mine is a little wrinkled from being folded in the box, but this again is a medium. As you can see in my fit, it is a little bit shorter in terms of a cut. And part of that is because I do have a larger chest, so it doesn't drop down as low as it normally would. It's definitely wider in terms of fit. I really like the neckline and I like that they sewed it so that when it folds inward a little bit, you don't see any of the white popping out. So they did a good job with this neckline. And this is also very cute. I love the embroidery little brooch right here. Um, the bow could have been a little bit better. Like the top of the bow is a little bit small and uh, it looks kind of cheap. I'll probably have to iron that maybe and poof it up a little bit. But otherwise, it's a very cute piece. The sleeves are certainly long, so it definitely fits in adult size and I like these little buttons to kind of close up the wrists. There is no stretch on this piece, so definitely make sure that you check your sizing. I would say that this is true to size in terms of being a medium. One, two, three. Okay, I have four pieces left. This one also ordered in a medium is kind of a, like a baby doll tee and it is stretchy and it's very, very cute. The little accents on these, the little details are so adorable. I love the little heart buttons to close up the shoulders. I love the little lace detailing. It's very, very adorable. This embroidered Luna P is really pretty and even the neckline is very cute and it matches the shoulders. I appreciate this piece because it is so long and I do have a long torso. So in terms of that, it fits wonderfully and it looks really, really cute tucked into a pair of jeans. I would say that this one is also true to size and since it's stretchy, it is a little bit more giving. Okay, so we have some sweatpants or some joggers. Um, I, I was a little iffy on these. I'm probably gonna return these because I don't wanna buy anything with him on it. I don't like this character at all. It's a little weird for me. So I'm probably gonna return this, but I did wanna try it on and let you guys know about this. So this one does have one pocket on the back and it features Sailor Moon and the Inner Guardians on the front. And then we have the Black Moon Clan on the back. Now this is one of my favorite seasons. So generally I would love to purchase something like this, but I think it would be a lot cooler if they had like Black Lady featured right here instead of Princess Demond. And it is Demond in Japanese. So here we have, of course, Sapphire, Rubius, and Emerald. And then we have Demond down at the bottom. We also have my favorite ladies, the Ayakashi sisters. They look so freaking cool and I love this print. Now I did want to mention, I love how clear this print is and how thin the line art is. So you can really, really see the details for each of these characters. And I really love this art because I haven't seen this in many places, if at all. Like her holding her little bubble, she's holding some fire, she's got her whip. And then over here, what is, what is she holding? She's holding her little wand thing, her staff. So it's so cool because that's such a unique print and something that I don't generally see. Now on the front, you do have a couple of front pockets and they're pretty deep. So very happy with those. I really like this light pink 
tie so you can use that to knot it around your waist. We have the inner guardians right there and then on the other leg we have Sailor Moon in a nice big print. Down at the bottom Luna and Artemis and then it also features a beautiful crescent moon. So this is a very fun pair of sweatpants or joggers. Really cool color blocking technique that they used for this. It is ruched at the bottom, so these do fit around your ankles. In terms of sizing, I should have sized down. These were like swallowing me whole when I tried them on, and this is my normal medium size. So I probably should have sized down to a smaller and extra small because these were, these were way too big, even though they were listed as girls junior sizing. So a little odd there. Okay, I can imagine that this looks super weird on a hanger but I haven't been in a Hot Topic store in a hot minute because I went to Japan so I felt like it was a good excuse but this is a really cute black lady or wicked lady cosplay dress. I got this on Halloween and I wore it on Halloween and I was like, oh my gosh, I, I love this dress so much. So that I'm saving the best for last. So this was also in a medium. I will show you my fit test and my lookbook to give you an idea of how I styled this. I love this, even though Hot Topic did not do a good job with advertising the details on this thing because I discovered a few things that I was like, oh, they should have told us about this because I. I, I was gonna buy it anyway, but had I known, I definitely would have bought this. So first off, you have this mesh kind of stretchy material for a little crop top that goes underneath it. And I do say crop top because it's not a super long top that they put underneath this dress. Um, mine is stuck on there because they do have some sewing at the shoulders that the straps for the dress go through but I will probably cut those off just so I can wear this top with something separate and I could wear something separate underneath this velvet dress, which I think would also look very cute. The top itself does have a nice little velvet crescent moon, a little black moon at the very front on the chest. You also have this black neck band. It's almost like a choker and it does button at the back. And when you button it, it does give you a nice little teardrop effect on the backing. So very, very pretty there. The sleeves are very long. They definitely hit like halfway down my hand, halfway down my palm. So really nice long sleeves, very happy there as well. Now the things that they did not show us very closely, uh, they did show off this cute little black moon, crescent moon on the front. It does have a little velvet bow kind of tying it to the front of the dress. The dress has some beautiful lace detailing and it also has adjustable straps. Yay, so happy to see that. The coolest parts of this though, other than the very cute slit at the edge. Oh, and it is fully lined too. So, oh my, oh my gosh, so many positives about this dress. I just love it. We have to talk about this like crushed lace detailing. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but there's little black crescent moons in there. There's some filigree, almost haunted mansion vibes going on in here with some little black roses and some vines. And then we have a Luna P, the evil Luna P. And, and we're not done yet. They also have wicked ladies earrings. So we have Wicked Lady's earrings kind of detailed all around Luna P up and down this dress. So I thought that was so cool. Plus it has pockets and it's kind of stretchy. So this is a great dress. It all around, it has so many good qualities to it. Um, I am a 5'6 to give you an idea of the fit test that I did and where it hits along my knee. And overall, I'm very happy with this. I'm so happy that I got it. It's very cute. Okay, and the last piece in my roundup today are these adorable jeans. Now these are, what size did I get? I got a size one, like I got last year, which fit me great. And then this year I had to get a size three. Now the size one still fit me, but this year I had to size up to a size three. I'm usually like a size four or a size six in American jeans. I might want to size up to a size five because honestly around the hips, like it was kind of hard to get these over my booty. So I, I might have to size up a little bit. These jeans are wide legged, but if you got decent size hips, they make your booty look good. So I love that. I love that we have the same rod on the front of these jeans. However, it is printed and I would have preferred like patchwork or embroidery details as opposed to printing because I have a feeling once I wash these a few times that printing is starting is going to start to age, which might give them some really cute vintage vibes since these are a light wash. But at the same time, like I do want these to keep that Sailor Moon aesthetic. So we have Luna down here. 
we have one of Sailor Moon's brooches down at the bottom. On the other leg, we have the inside of a brooch featuring the silver millennium crystal. And then we have this beautiful full body print of Sailor Moon at the bottom of the other leg. We have pockets on the front. We got pockets on the back, just like any other traditional pair of jeans that you would get. I will say in terms of the inner measurements from the crotch down to the bottom, these are a little bit short, so you wouldn't wanna wear these with like heels, for example, but if you're wearing these with tennis shoes, I think they look great. Again, I'm a 5'6". These are very, very cute. They don't give a lot. There's not a lot of stretch. So again, you know what my sizing was and what I had to buy. So keep that in mind when you're going shopping for these. Definitely try them in store if you do have a store. If you don't, I would recommend getting like different sizes online and then just returning whichever ones don't fit. Hot Topic gives us 30 days to return things. So it's pretty forgiving, especially if you try everything on as soon as you get it in the mail. Okay, so that was my Hot Topic haul. I have another Hot Topic haul that I need to get to, but that will be like accessories, purses, all that good stuff. So I hope you're looking forward to it. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Sometimes I share my hot cash if I'm not planning to use it on my Instagram page. So if you're looking for coupons or discounts, definitely check my Instagram. It is at Sailor Snubs, just like this channel as well. I appreciate you for being here. Comment down below if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye.